screen here. It so turns it's right in front of you. You exactly. don't have to look to the right. You don't have to look anywhere. It's right in yep. front of you. While you may be stunned by the technology in the six-figure Mercedes flagship, you may be even more surprised by what's coming to even the most basic car sold in the United States. Starting this month, all new cars sold here must have an event data recorder, often called a black box. The black box records a history of what you are doing or not doing behind the wheel. The theory being that the black box will capture the last moments leading up to a crash. The black box information includes how fast you were going, whether you were applying the gas or the brakes, and whether the airbags inflated. Unlike the black box in a jetliner, the one in your car does not record people's voices. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Wow, I feel like I'm in a discotheque. In case you were wondering, the price on that 2014 Mercedes, $128,000. But we want to talk about black boxes today. And here's one right here. I've got one in my hand. You can see this is in your car probably right now. Who owns the information that this device records? And how hard is it for law enforcement or insurance companies to get their hands on the data? For answers to that, we're joined by the car coach, Lauren Fix. Lauren, great to see you. Great to see you. So how much data is my car collecting on me? Quite a bit. Every 20 seconds, it's collecting data. So it knows how many times your vehicle started. It knows where you've gone. It actually knows what, how many passengers are in the car. These are all, as of September 1st, these new regulations. So all this data is being collected by every manufacturer. So what we see is... The, do you have the brakes on? Are your hands on the steering wheel? What's your speed? Are you wearing a seatbelt? All those details so that in case you have a crash, this is why the stuff was invented in the first place, right? Right. We know what happened. But Lauren, whose information is it? Actually, it belongs to you. You bought the car. It's yours. However, the car manufacturers use it when there's some sort of technical problem. They can find it. You know, in the last 20 starts, we've noticed that we've had a problem with this data. We can then get the vehicles back in the dealership. So it does collect good data, but also the access to that data can be from more people. You can't get it. Other people can. Well, apparently, according to 14 states, it's supposed to be my data. And NHTSA says it's my data. But I know a lot of people are saying... Insurance companies want it. There's a big fight, a wild west for the information that's coming out of this black box. One of my fears is that they'll put, they'll record more and more information, maybe not just 20 seconds, maybe 24 hours. Right. Let's talk about who you think should have rights to this data, what the reality is on the ground. Does my insurer have rights to my black box data? And if not this black box, another black box. Well, insurance companies have been really trying to get people to put those little modules into their onboard diagnostics that plugs in under the dash so you can possibly get a discount on your insurance. But that black box that you just showed is going to be on every single car. It's been on a lot of cars since 2005, about 62% of the cars that are on the road. And what's interesting is that data is used when there's an accident. So let's say I say you hit me, and you say, well, no, you hit, I, you know, I hit you. Right. Now we can, especially if there's injuries or if it's a severe crash, so they can subpoena the information. Information does belong to you. The 14 states do protect you, but you have to read those regulations because if you read them carefully, they can subpoena them. Well, here's the other thing I'm worried about. So I make a claim on my car insurance. Something right. happened. I need something fixed. I need right. a, you know, there's a gash in the front bumper. Right. What do we do? So the insurance company says, I've got to see the black box because I want to see if you're going too fast for where you were supposed to be. That's a possibility as well. It's a possibility. They haven't got to that point yet. Usually when you have a crash, an investigator will come out. They'll write it up. If it's something is a gash, they'll tell you to go get a quote. So you have to realize as we get further and further along, I'm waiting for the time when they say, you know what? What, Jerry, you got from point A to point B three times faster than our computers calculated, so we're going to send you a ticket in the mail. Right. That's exactly coming. Exactly right. Well, we're going to raise your insurance rates because you tend to speed. We can see that you get from point A to point B because, hey, listen, all the smart tablets and the devices that we have, we are tracked consistently. So when you think about your phone and your, you know, your tablet of some type, they can track that as well. So they know where I've been all day and they know where you've been all day. All they do is well, access it. What I think is interesting is that you think when you get in your car and you hear that thud of the doors yeah. closing, you think, hey, this is my world. Right. This is where I live. This is my private space. But it's less and less so. Well, pretty much you don't have that privacy anymore. And I discuss that all the time with people saying, you know, it used to be that was your place to think, like being in the shower. That's the only place they haven't invaded yet. But when it comes to your car, it really is something that is yours. You make the payments. And there's a lot of people that are in Upward. There's a Driver Privacy Act that is supposed to protect consumers. It really hasn't done much in the Fourth Amendment, you would think, would protect you as a consumer. It's your information.
it doesn't necessarily protect there's, you. There's another bill making its way through the Senate right now that will right. do the same thing specifically with EDR data. We'll see what happens to that. What's interesting about this, if you think, you hey, I'll just turn off my EDR, right? No. Disable it. You don't want to do that. First off, it's illegal, number one. Number two, it could also affect your passive safety systems, which would be airbags. The seatbelts have pretensioners and load limiters. They would not function properly either, amongst other things. So don't be doing that. And in yeah. the meantime, I guess, you know, we just have to wait and see how it works out. I, I well, hate this being in this kind of situation where I think it's my data, yeah. and I don't want my car testifying against me in a court of law. You know what I mean? Well, there's a lot of things you can do to protect yourself. You know, obviously shut off your Bluetooth when you leave your car with a valet. Don't leave your home keys on it because, hey, while you're having dinner, I'm making a copy of your key. I went to your nav screen, found out where your home address is. I've got all your information. If you give them a valet key and you take your house keys with you, they can't have access. And there's also some safety considerations here sure. as well, because if you are in a, in a really brutal car accident, this little device could decide where you should go given the way the car was right. hit. Right. OnStar does that. Of course, you've got uh, every manufacturer pretty much is starting to do that. Kia has Uvo, and, and Hyundai has Blue Link, and all these different systems can tell you were in an accident, this was the speed of the accident, and we can send out an ambulance or an emergency vehicle. And to, for that, it does make sense. But giving away the data or selling the data is where I have the concern. Now, lots of worries. And of course, uh, you know, we would talk about you can't shut it down, that's for sure. Nope. Be sure not to do that. I know a lot of people are worried about their private data. We'll continue yep. to talk about this one. Lauren, thank you. Thank you. And now we want to know what you think. Here's our question tonight Who should own the data from your car's black box? You, your insurance company, or the government? Oh, log on to jerrywillis.com. Vote on the right hand side of the screen. I'll share the results at the end of tonight.